Coach Chip here from Peel House Gym. I'm going to talk to you guys about the workout of the day. Okay, so we had three parts: movement prep, strength, and conditioning. For movement prep, we took some mini bands. If you have one, you can put around one around your legs, just below your knees or just above. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can still do this without a band. Okay, so you're going to do three sets of three things. First one is squats. If you have a band, you want to think about pushing your knees into that band as you squat. Next one is side steps. So you're getting into this athletic position. You're going left and right, 12 total. Then we have glute bridges. So on your back, nice, nice and flat. Inhale, exhale, drag your hips to the ceiling, squeeze at the top. If you have a band around your legs, think about pushing your knees into the band as you drive your hips up, okay? So three sets, 12 reps of those three things, all right? Next, we're gonna get into the strength portion of the workout, okay? So the first exercise is deadlift. So you can either use a barbell, two dumbbells, a kettlebell, or one dumbbell, okay? So whatever you have, whether it's a barbell or kettlebell or dumbbells, you're going to hinge at the hips, stand up nice and tall, squeeze at the top, okay? So you have eight to 10 deadlifts. Next is uh, pressure dead bugs. Pressure dead bugs meaning you're pushing into your knees. So you're on your back, pushing your hands into your knees. You can have your head and shoulders off the ground if you want. Just make sure you're not straining your neck. So tuck your chin, okay? So from here, I'm pushing into one knee and I'm extending the opposite side of my body, bring it back in and switch. If that doesn't feel good on your neck, you can just relax your head on the floor. Really push, 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 push as I reach. So six to eight on each side. After that, we have a single arm close grip floor press. So you're gonna need a dumbbell or a kettlebell. You're gonna lay on your back, elbow about, uh, sorry. Today we're gonna keep your elbow close to your body. So for a close grip floor press, and you're gonna drive that weight away, okay? If you wanna do two at a time, you can, or you can do 10 on one side and then 10 on the other. If you wanna add a glute bridge, you can hold the glute bridge at the top and press, okay? So elbow in by your side today, not out here like the normal bench press, okay? So you have four sets of that, okay? So eight to 10 deadlifts, six dead bugs on each side, 10 to 12 floor presses on each side. Once you're done with that, we're moving to conditioning, okay? So we have five movements. You're going to do cardio for a minute. You can choose jump rope, jumping jacks, boxing, ballistics, whatever you want. Something to get your heart rate up. You're gonna go for a minute. Then you're gonna do snatches. You can either use a kettlebell or if you have a dumbbell, snatch, jump that weight to the ceiling. Okay, so you're gonna do 10, 10 on one side, then 10 on the other. Next, we have a push-up with a toe touch. So you're gonna do a push-up, hips to the ceiling, reach your toes. Push-up, reach to the ceiling, touch your toe. If you do this on your knees, it would look like this. Here, hands back, up, and reach, okay? Next, we have split squat jumps. So you're gonna start in this one position, jump, switch, 10 on each side, okay? Another substitution would be just reverse lunges or single leg deadlifts, 10 on each side, okay? And then the last one is a side plank with a reach under, okay? So you're in a side plank, reach under, reach up, okay? If you need to put one knee down, if you're feeling like that's too difficult, you can put one knee down and do the same thing. If you don't feel good on your elbow, you can do bird naps instead, okay? So the way the conditioning works is you do a minute of cardio and you do 10 of everything that I just listed, 10 on each side. Next round, you do a minute of cardio and eight reps of everything, then six, then four, and then two. You're always doing a minute of cardio, but the reps on everything else drop by two every round, all right? Enjoy.